First, we have the fascinating iridologist Ronald Delari Simpson on the show telling us about some of the best ways of improving your taste buds in order to get even more enjoyment of your food. Let's go and see him now. Hello, Ronald. How are you, Chrissy? Great to see you. Lovely to see you Always again. Always delighted Thanks to be here. So much for coming on. <laughs> yeah, it's good. So, our taste buds. So there are ways of actually, things that you can eat to actually improve the enjoyment of our food. About 40,000 patients that I've seen in the last 40, 50 years. The remarkable thing is that what I discovered was that most of these people, they, they didn't understand the value of their taste buds. Mm -hmm. So, and so, they, so they, 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 they spice up with like salt and pepper and all that. But the taste buds are where you get your pleasure from eating. Mm -hmm. right? And there's millions, you know, there's, there's 75 trillion cells in the body, but there's millions of cells on your actual tongue as well, okay. right? So what I discovered is that when, you, when you've got congestion in the small intestines, right? So in other words, if you've got congestion in the small intestines, the large intestine, the liver and the thyroid your taste buds actually become congested as well. Mm -hmm. So then when you're eating a nice juicy piece of fish or, or steak or herbs, you can't taste it. Okay. So that's why people slice up the stuff with, with tomato sauce and ketchup. But that actually negates the value of your taste buds. Mm. Right? And if your taste buds are in good shape, you will actually absorb more minerals. And, oh. and the minerals mm -hmm. are the key to breaking down food in your, in your body. The more minerals you can absorb through initially starting mm -hmm. with the tongue and chewing, the more it goes into your body, the more it goes into your intestines and all these, these systems start to work away and the minerals are what keep you young. Okay. You see that? So, and, and they're so effective, the taste buds are so important that when you, when you have enjoyment of your food, your organs, like your eyes, when you get to your 50s, 60s, 70s, are still good. Mm. No glasses. Mm -hmm. That's how valuable they are, right? So yeah. what so actually happened... How, how can you keep your taste buds well, working properly then? Well, what I, what I, what I found was that um, I, I, I get a magazine called The New Scientist, a very good magazine, and I went to America and worked there for a while, and then I went to uh, Japan and so on, and what I found that was something extraordinary was the amount of meat that people eat and why it affects your taste buds, right? Mm -hmm. And what's remarkable is that there's an article, I'll show it to you, there's an article where it proves that the average American eats 122 kilos of red meat a year. Well, that's a lot, that's a lot of meat, <laughs> right? So, and then the British, 84 kilos, mm -hmm. and the Chinese, 58 kilos. Now, and this is a really remarkable comment because when you look at the hypermarket, the American got supermarkets, they've also got hypermarkets, and they're huge, like 300 yards, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what I discovered? 300 yards, one lane, for digestive aids. Okay. Right? For mm -hmm. digestive aid. That, that's how much business they make for digestive problems, mm -hmm. of course, starting here. So, and then the second part of it was 300, yard, 300 yards on the other side for headaches, again caused by toxicity. So what happened is that when you look at 122 kilos of meat, uh, and, and that tells you a hell of a story because What's happened is this, that if you go back 60, 70 years, meat was a luxury, mm -hmm. right? Now for 2,000 years, our bowels have not changed. They're still the same digestive system. But if you were, say, a heavy duty logger or heavy duty carpenter or bricklayer doing very heavy work, you could get away with eating meat fairly regularly. Mm -hmm. But most people today are sedentary. That's true. Mm -hmm. So they tend to watch the computer, watch the et cetera. But so what happens as a result is that they do not get to digest the meat because mm -hmm. they're not burning it from their sedentary jobs, right? So it's very, very important to reduce the meat. Okay. So how, how many if, times a week do you think? 
I would, look, I'll, I'll tell you my personal story. I, I used to eat meat three times a week. Mm -hmm. But after I realised what the meat was doing, I now eat red meat one in three months. Really? Once in three oh, months. Wow. Yeah. What about chicken and stuff? White well, meat. I tend to eat more chicken, more okay. turkey, more fish. Mm -hmm. And as a result, um, I haven't lost any muscle. I haven't lost any cognitive functions. And I'm a lot healthier. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have about 14 to 16 hours of energy because of the yeah. digestive system being working so well. And when you look at the British people, which is 84 kilos, they're not very far beyond the Americans. Mm -hmm. so, so they tend to eat the full English breakfast. And you know when you're eating sausages, uh, red meat, pork, bacon and beans and so mm -hmm. on, that is one of the worst things you can do. Because and, and, and every hotel you go to, they've got the full English breakfast yeah. and people just lean into it, right? <laughs> so, the, yes. so the taste buds become very clogged up, right? Okay. So what you need to do is you need to consume 38 grams of fiber and soluble fiber and insoluble fiber every single day, every single day to make this work. Mm -hmm. If you're, if you're less than 38 grams, like you might be on 12 grams or 14 grams, this starts to get congested. And when that gets congested, the whole system clogs up, the liver mm -hmm. clogs up, and the, the pancreas plays up, and so on and so on. And then, it, by default, your, your taste bud also clogged up. Mm -hmm. So then you can't digest your food properly because your taste bud dictates how much you enjoy chewing. Oh, wow. You see? Okay. So the, because the more, and if you look at people, they just bolt the food down, <laughs> yeah. right? The key, yeah, is to, the key is to have your taste buds so sharp mm -hmm. that when you're chewing, you know, like some ghost cheese or, you know, some good piece of fish or whatever, that you're enjoying the chewing of it. Mm -hmm. And when you enjoy the chewing of it, guess what? Everything digests from here down. Okay. You see? So, but the key is 38 grams of fiber, soluble and insoluble, drinking at least 2.5 to 3 liters of water and juice. I was the first in the world in 1967 to discover the relationship on how water gets into the body cells, right? And I've brought this to show you today, where this is a, a one liter bottle. Mm -hmm. And what we recommend to get everything working, including your taste bud, is to decongest your cells, right? So this is one liter. So we put 800 mils of water and 200 mils of juice. What kind of juice? Cloudy apple juice, okay. red grape juice, mm -hmm. right, whatever. Now the reason why this works is I discovered to biochemistry that when you drink water, it actually does mouth, stomach, kidneys, bladder, out. When you do it this way, 80-20, mm -hmm. remarkably, it becomes a biochemic operation now. Then you drink it, because of that really 80-20 rule, it goes mouth, stomach, cells. Oh, so feed your cells first yeah, before it goes. Exactly, okay. then the kidney, then the bladder. Yeah. Now, the beauty about that is that between 70 to 72% of your body's water including your muscles, including brain and so on, right? So water. So the, when, you get, when you have that ability to create this liquid and the water goes in the system and it hydrates everything, hydrates your brain, mm -hmm. hydrates your heart cells, everything, the miracle happens where you stay young. <laughs> you see, your skin improves, mm -hmm. right? And your eye function improves. Now, I've just turned 71, and I drink three liters like that every single day. Okay. So I make up three of those every day. Mm -hmm. And during the day, about every three hours, I drink a glass, two glasses, all the way through, see? So what actually happened, that helps to enormously hydrate by doing the 80-20 rule, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the other thing that's important is that when I was in the army, we used to do a slow march for the funeral, for the funeral party, you know, when people would come back from mm -hmm. Vietnam. And I designed an exercise, which the army taught me, I redesigned it, and I'm gonna show it to you, it's a fascinating exercise. And when you use this exercise, you actually create decongestion of your bowel, 
and you increase the muscle of your heart okay. by doing a two kilometer, you, by the way, if you, the way to do it is if you were severely unfit, you could start with one kilometer. Mm -hmm. But two kilometers is ideal to start, right? And the way to do it is you mark out two kilometers, right? And you do what I call a power walk. Mm -hmm. Not, you don't stroll like Sunday afternoon. You do a power walk like this, uh -huh. right? You power walk like that. So you, everything's moving, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the key is this. When you do the power walk, every 30 steps, right? Okay, I'm going to have to stand up to explain this. Mm -hmm. the, the two kilometers, you walk like super walk yeah. like that, very fast. Mm -hmm. The moment you do 30 steps, you stop and you do this. You do that. Okay. 10 times. 10 times, okay. 10 times, right? And then you do another 30 steps and you do it again 10 times. Okay. Now, when you've done a 30 steps 10 times, 10 times, that's the first week. The next week, you do two kilometers, you do 11. Okay. And you build it up to 30. And if you're doing this like that uh -huh. on a regular basis, that is a tremendously good effect on wow. your digestive system. Okay. Because it builds the abs. Brilliant. And, it, and it also strengthens your core here. Okay. You get the idea? Nice. So, okay. so when you combine that, with the with the 38 grams of soluble and insoluble fiber, which would be what quickly? Okay, very quickly soluble is uh, things like uh, like for example mango, apples, okay. pears, plums. Mm -hmm. That is soluble. Mm -hmm. Insoluble will be oats, barley, wheat. Right. Okay. Right, grains, right? So, so it's important to get the combination of soluble and insoluble fiber. Mm -hmm. So fruits very important, vegetables very important, and of course. Uh, the insoluble part, which is the, the, the barley and, the, and mm -hmm. so on, that's critical. So you have to have them both together. Mm -hmm. Can't just be soluble, can't just be insoluble. It's got to have combined okay. together, all right? Now, the other thing is that the, 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 with the liquids, it's a very good idea to have three bottles like that mm -hmm. built in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, you've drunk the whole three bottles. Every day you've done that. Okay. You'd be amazed. In eight weeks of doing that, your skin will glow. Right. Okay. Last but not least. Um, Very quickly, we've run out of time on all 30 seconds. Can you do it in 30 seconds? Yeah. yeah. Last but not least, um, regular scraping mm -hmm. of the tongue every morning and every night. You okay. scrape your tongue with a proper scraper. Mm -hmm. You'd be amazed how much gunk stays in your tongue from the morning and the afternoon. So every time you do, before you do your teeth, scrape your tongue. Before you do your teeth. Before you do your okay. teeth, scrape your tongue first, get rid of it, and then clean your teeth thoroughly. Okay. I use an electric toothbrush. And that's much more powerful to remove the plaque. Mm -hmm. And when you remove the plaque from your teeth, it also helps to remove the rubbish from the tongue. Okay. Then your taste buds increase tremendously. Wow. So much so that when you eat now, you can taste every single ingredient in your food. Amazing. Yeah. Ronald, thank you so much. Pleasure. Fascinating yeah. as usual. Good. And <laughs> looking forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Well done. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Okay.